Hi everybody, it's Misty with A Unique Treasure and I just wanted to come on and do a quick share. I am busy packing up the house and getting ready for other packers to come in um, and get us moved. However, I am also taking the time to um, try to put my stuff away and pack it up that I ordered um, as it comes in because I've been shopping like there's no tomorrow. Um, but it's exciting because I have lots of projects and journals already um, gathered in little boxes uh, that I plan on doing and sharing with you guys. But my, my first major haul I want to show you guys is I bought, I finally broke down and bought these Nuvo um, Jewel Drops. Uh, this one is crystal. This is, uh, this one says crystal on it. So these are, the top ones are jewel and these are crystal. So these are more transparent than these are. I, I believe they look thicker. Um, but I got these um, from Urban, 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 Urban. I don't, I, I, I'm going to have to drop the links in the bottom. I shop from several different places. I look a lot on Instagram now at um, where people are getting things, and these these uh, companies are actually on Instagram uh, promoting themselves too, and other people on YouTube are promoting them. So I got a lot of new YouTube um, people that I watch, and they use these, and they're just gorgeous. I did um, take some and put it on a little paper and let it dry and it was just absolutely gorgeous. I just want to share with you guys the colors. Some of them are sparkly, some of them are not. Um, but I, you know, I go from wanting, oh, sorry about the noise. I go from wanting to do shabby to a little bit darker colors, you know, more vintagey, um, things like that. But this is my um, newest, well, no, actually, it's not my newest shop. I'm still getting stuff in from that newest shop. But um, I was really shopping a lot on Alley, and then I found these other little businesses um, here. Uh, Cherry on Top is one of them, and I plan on having a bead day, start having bead days with my mom because she's a little bed bound right now. And I've been trying to think of things that she can do that's not messy, that we could do together, and so... I ordered some of these and Scrap the World, another channel I watch, um, she had gotten uh, one of her kits, one of those, um, it's a mini drill and I don't have it right here by me. And they buy these, um, all these really cute little things and they drill holes in, holes in them and make them part of their dangles and they make the cutest things. You know, I used to think these things were like childish, it's not what I want to do, and then I found all these ladies making these adorable um, little dangles and things with these, and they go with what they're making. Um, I did break down finally because I have seen the Disney stuff so so much, but these were so stinking cute. Let me stand up so make sure you guys can see these. So they, they're they almost like little shaker ones, but they're not shaker, I don't believe. I, they're just glitter inside of them and they got several different colors as you see and these were just I, I also um, ordered from there's another place called Mixed I don't know why I wasn't prepared for, with this I wasn't even going to show this stuff and then I've seen so many hauls lately and I'm like you know this is how I started getting into a variety of things that are fun not just only you know working with the paper and buying unteamed paper pads and so many um, digitals. I have tons of them, but these just make the gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm going to be doing charms and, um, you know, paper clips. And, you know, these are flat back. There's no buttons or anything on these. And they're just so stinking cute. And I love those. And then I got these. Let's see what these are. Um, scissors. Let me see. These are my paper only scissors, but I'm going to open these because another thing I wanted to share with you guys is I have been working on, um, you know, uh, containers and uh, finding things that are going to work for me in my future plans of our new classroom. And aren't these so cute? Oh my gosh, they're like candy. Look at that. 
They're little pieces of candy, and they're so stinking cute. I love them, and they got a hole in them already, so we can add them to our charms and things, and I love, love, love these colors. Super happy about those, and then these are, these look like they're edible, but they're not, and if I can get these open, um, these are like, um, here's a little ba a pig. This is a pig. I was going to say a bear. That's so funny. Here's a bunny or a bear, whatever that is. It might be a bear. But it doesn't matter what they are. They're just little cute animals. Of course, we know that's a little whale here, this one. Let's see if y'all can see that. And I just love these. These are so, so cute. That looks like a little panda bear right there, a pink one. Where are we? Right there. Okay. So, um, oh, I got one more thing to show you. I haven't opened none of this because I just was waiting to put it where it belongs in my new containers and drawers and things like that. I'm. Um, these are little shaker. Of course, that's Christmas. Um, oh, my goodness. Look at this person. It was a variety pack. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And I could stick a little hole in these or stick it onto something. Let's see. That's really cute. I love these things. I And the reason why I love them so much is because I've seen things like this used. These ladies that I've been watching these videos are just amazing. Amazing. Um, this would be really good on one of my baby um, albums that I'm thinking about doing for a little girl. And here's the thing. It says smile. And they're sh these are all shakers. This would be good for my little granddaughter. And here's some apples. You know, nice to make for teacher gifts. And here is, or put the apple in my eye, things like that. And here's a little sucker. I mean, they're just nice to have a different variety of collections. I'm really building my stash right now to do all different types of crafting cards, little journals, mini journals, keychains, uh, the pokey pokey tools oh yes and how about these these look so darn cute um, I'm just gonna because I'm not saving this packaging so let's pull these out and see if these are as pretty and pretty well, if I can get them out I'm just gonna pour them in my hand here look how pretty those are and they're flat on the back basically so I can glue them onto things too and also they have and I don't remember what they're called but they're a round clear circle you can get them in different colors clear dark and you can stick this on there and then they have the loop on it to make a you know hang you can hang make these little hangers um, for different things all right and I got another pack of these these are a variety of these little jewels and they're really pretty variety colors let me stick these right in there for now the other thing I want to go on and move to is I want to show you how I'm storing some things so I've always admired when people have those shabby sheets the beautiful uh, ribbons and laces and stuff around those really nice long spools holders you know um, but those are really expensive online, so I decided I'm going to try these. These were at the General Dollar, I believe, and it's either General Dollar or Dollar General. And I got these. Mm. And, excuse my chair. Um, mm. Okay, here it is. They're the uh, Dollar General, and I bought some of these. And eventually, I'm going to paint them. But right now, I don't have time for that. And this is a door hanger, of course, and it's for somebody to paint, I'm sure. But I'm using them to wrap my trims and things on. Um, this desperately needed something because once it came off the spool, it was um, it was really a mess. And so I have this as an example. I have this. And what I use, I, I got some of this from the dollar store, and I just tied it. And you can tie a bow, but a knot first, and then a bow to make it look really super cute. And then I did, you know, these. And um, I have so much more to do because I'm going to get all of them 
And then they have those pant hanger curtains that, uh, curtains, not curtains, pant, pant hangers that, um, you know, there's a regular hanger and then it has the um, notches in the center that I can, I can make these all stagger each, uh, each other like this. I'm not sure how I'm going to display these yet, but I am right now. I have several trays and I'm going to try to back out so that y'all can see um, how I'm storing these things. Uh, let me see if I can. There we go. Whoops. And so here was the wider, prettier trims that I'm doing right now. And then here's some more of these. And you can see. So I'm definitely turning one of my pieces of furniture into a shabby chic piece. And these this particular set will go in that furniture. Um, so by the time I get done with my room, I will be doing a share on the entire room. But I wanted just to show you how I was, this is not how, where this is gonna be stored. This is just a place I'm putting these as I'm doing them. And so well, let me put this back. So I wanted to show you one. Uh, you know, I'm not going to take this off, but these peel right off. I wanted to um, grab one of these bigger pieces and show you how I do it. And I just fold this over like so. And I will just, let me make sure I'm in camera. But yeah, here we go. And I will just continue because it kind of folds itself as you go along as long as you keep the piece straight. And I will just continue to do this until it's at the end. And if it, you know, does anything funny, you just unwrap it, unwind it a bit. And there we go. And so what I can do now, I really wanted, I think I did this inside out, because there's, you know, I did. Let's try it again. But you get the, they both look pretty. I'm gonna do it this way. They both look pretty um, fold on both sides here. But so this is how I do this one, okay? And the other ones have more of a top that I can fold over easier. But I just think, you know, and, and technically, you can go right on top above it. You, we don't need that big hole up top, right? So I could pin this. I have rubber bands that, you know, really thin ones I can put over this that you can't really see the clear ones. Um, or you can take a, a large paper clip and put it over here since it's not got big loose netting to get caught on. And I think that's it for that one. These... Um, this packaging is good to use. Um, just so you know, ladies, you can open this up, dump this, and then you can fold this back up and reuse this packaging for a rack. The back of this um, opens. You can take, peel this open. This one, down. okay. And you can take this out, and you can cover this right with paper and put a sentiment on there, put it back in here, and then um, there's your topper, right? You can do the topper all nice and cool, and uh, or you can just put paper in here and then do the topper on the outside here, and then you can put whatever you're gifting inside of here as long, of course, it, it's the size. So, taking one of these, let me find um, a piece that I would put on here. I, so, I play with it. So, of course, I want it to look cute, too. And that's another reason for using these. But just think if this was mint or I took stain to it, you know, and I just wrap this around here. And just think if you had a whole bunch of these done that are kind of like this stuff here, right? And I just play with that. And, you know, there, I can lay it there. I like to put my clear rubber bands, which I have in the other room around it. 
Um, this is one of the thicker ones, but it's okay. I mean, the whole point is just to have them. I could pick them up. I can grab a few and drop them in front of me and work and then just open it up and take some off or look at it, you know, how it's going to look on the project I'm working on and then put it back. The next thing I want to share with you is it's at the dollar store. I got this from my larger dollar store. I do have to, I have to drive past three dollar stores to get to the large dollar store. And this holds all my stickles. And I'm still searching for something to hold um, these. Um, the, oh, my Nouveau Drops. God, I can't think straight today again. And, but these are perfect for the stickles. I need to go back and get one more because it's, they do sell these at Walmart too. Um, but if you can find them at your dollar store, which I didn't have a lot to get, uh, cause they go pretty fast. Uh, but these are in your makeup section. Uh, you can get some of these in the makeup and, and I have seen them in different spots. So these I got out of the larger dollar store in the makeup section. So that's for, that's good for the stickles. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to share with you. I don't think so. This video, I do need to get the next uh, process video up for the journal that I'm making. And, um, I think I'm going to work on that next, but I hope that you enjoyed this little share that I found, you know, some things I do have more container ideas, but I'm going to wait for another video to do that. You ladies have a great day. Thanks for watching. Thank you.